Now, I don't feel entitled to make this video just because I'm going to sophomore year, so I still have three more years to go. But I feel like in my freshman year, I conquered it. I mean, I don't want to say I was like the most popular or like I ruled high school, but I was pretty happy in there. Now, these tips are personal, so if you don't agree with them, don't do them. They just happen to work for me, and I know that every school is different, but nine times out of ten, you will meet the same kind of people at every school. So if you're in middle school, why are you watching me? And if you're going into college, why are you watching me? But if you're going into high school, you should listen. Live the life that you want. Now, I'm mainly talking about people who aren't straight and haven't come out yet. I advise you to. I didn't come out until three months in, and I can tell you that it is the best decision I will ever make. One, because you get to live your true life. Two, because you get to start your actual life, because I believe that every year you didn't have as your true self, it's wasted. So, I guess you can say I'm one years old. One year old. And this doesn't just go to people who aren't straight. If you are straight and you made some little white lies now and then and you didn't really like be honest, high school is your chance to have that new life. Don't get involved with drama. Every time I go to school, I hear something new, something about gossip, something about relationships. And if you go down that rabbit hole, you, you, you'll never find your way out. You're stuck there forever, you're gonna stay there and you're gonna rot. Not literally, but still. I mean, you can hear about the drama and just not get involved with it. It's not that hard. You will always see dramatic people, you will always find people going into many relationships and having like the worst life they've ever had, blah blah blah. And the least you can do is just be there for them. But you don't want to get involved with it. Because then the teachers find out, and then you go to guidance, and then you have to make up some kind of lie, and then you get your friends in trouble, and then you feel really bad about it, and I'll, I'll stop. Usually when you go from middle school to high school, you go with most of your friends, and you don't want to be with them the whole year. When I went to high school, we had this little like group and we were just so close together like penguins. And you saw so many groups from different schools, but guess what? There are people who go there with literally no friends and they just fit right in. And you can do that too if you believe in yourself. Wow, I sound so inspirational right now and I shouldn't. But I mean, I stayed with my same group for I think around three months, probably the same time before I came out, because I just wasn't comfortable enough to leave that group and be who I really want to be with. And I'm not saying just leave your group in the dust, no. Visit them sometimes, it's just lunchtime, it doesn't really matter. You will always have classes with them, maybe. And it doesn't mean you lose them as a friend. It's just a chance for you to expand your relationships with everyone and have fun. Have a balance between partying and work. You have those people who party every single day of their lives, and then you have those people who study every single day of their lives. Try to be in the middle. I'm a firm believer that having fun is more important than good grades, because I just want to live life the way it is. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't focus on grades, because those are important as well. But also is your friendships, and your life, and your mentalness, and if that's a word. So people invite you over, don't instantly say no. Am I gonna have this chance again? Maybe. Maybe not. Am I gonna be jealous if I skip this because all my other friends are gonna be there? Maybe. Maybe not. Just choose the right thing, please. Don't let people put a label on you. Every high school movie you see, you will have the nerd group. Not trying to be stereotypical, but it's in every movie you see. You will have the sporty group. You will have the, I don't know, a gay group probably. You'll have the diva group and then you'll have the dramatic group. For me, I wanted to be part of all those groups and just have fun with everyone. But I will say, the label I got was probably GBF, which if you don't know is gay best friend. And this is the last one, which is have your own opinion. If you think that all my advice is stupid, good for you. If you feel the need to say what you believe in to people even though they won't take it that way, do it. I have people who say controversial messages to people on social media and I don't even have the guts to say that. And it puts them away from every other group and makes them unique, which I think is the best thing that you could be. But please, please, Promise me this. Respect other people's opinions and don't say things that are just jerk moves. AKA homophobic, racist, sexist things. And I can promise you that if you do all these tips, you will have a great high school. So those are some tips on how I survived freshman year in high school. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below about your tips, and leave a video idea because I want to make you guys happy. And subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos because I post every Sunday. My other links are down below and they're all that midget Asian because no one cares about my name. And my last video is right there. Right there. Alright, I love you guys and remember that everything is less than three.